Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Charles and Rafael. Um, I just got home from a basketball game, so sorry if my uh, voice is kind of scratchy. But anyway, um, one of my good friends uh, wanted me to do a talk about bullying. They didn't really, like they wanted advice for about about being bullied, like being bullied or like bullies or whatever. But I decided I will do that, and I'm gonna give some of my like experience with bullying and stuff, and like what I got made fun of for, blah blah blah. Okay, so basically the first time I started getting bullied was third grade. Um, I was a new kid at this school right up the street. I used to go to the Catholic school, but I went up to school up my street. Basically, I was a new kid. Me and the, new, me and the other new kid didn't get along either, which ironically, now we're best friends. <laughs> we train our stars together, but anyway, this besides the point. Um, yeah, he bullied me just like... I don't really remember what exactly he was bullying me for. He'd just be like, oh, you're ugly, blah, blah, blah. He'd hit me, like, one time in the lunchroom. I remember, like, I remember this, like, by heart. Like, one time we were sitting, like, we were sitting by each other in the lunchroom because we had to sign seats. And he said, Jocelyn. And I, I looked at him. He's like, look up. And I said, okay. I looked up, and he punched me right in my jaw. And, like, he did that again. But, and, like, he did it again. And then on the third time, I blocked it and I punched him in his labels. I remember that. And then I remember another time with him. It was still in third grade. He was, like, being blah, blah, blah. I'm going to beat you up, blah, blah, blah. And I think he tried hitting me. And um, I kicked him in his nuts. And then his friend behind him was like, oh, I won't let you do that to me. And then you know what I did? I kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> okay. Fast forward to uh, fifth, no, uh, fourth and fifth grade. I got bullied a little bit, but like that's not really something I really like remember what I was getting bullied about. But sixth grade, oh my gosh, sixth grade was one of the hardcore years I got bullied. Was um, um, I got hearing aids and glasses. And, like, people would call me a nerd or be like, oh, you look like a nerd, blah, blah, blah. You're different. You're too different. Like, these are sixth graders. How do you know, like, how the freaking, like, how do you know the definition of different? Well, whatever. Um, huh. um, and, like, seventh and eighth grade year, I got bullied a lot about my hearing aids. And I just tried to ignore them. And... I would get called different, or like you're a waste, nobody wants you here, like you're too different, nobody accepts different people, and I was just like, okay, like that brought me down a lot. In 8th grade, I had a boot on my left foot because I had a disease. I had this boot on 8th, 9th, and 8th and ninth grade mainly, and people were just like, no one would really take the time about my hearing aids to understand the full story why I have them or, like, why I had the boot. People just thought I wore the boot for fun because I wore it for, like, eight months first and I got it off and then I wore it again in ninth grade. And people would always be like, oh, you're faking this, blah, 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 like, you look stupid, like, you look like fucking, you look like a fucking horse, blah, blah, blah. Like, people would find, like, the littlest things to bully each other about. I'm not saying I'm, like, the, I'm not, like, the only person who got bullied. Yeah, there's probably other people who got bullied. And, like, I'm a sophomore now. Well, actually, I, I just remember the story in freshman year. This happened last year. It, this guy, him and I are cool now, so it's all good now. This guy, he would make fun of me, like, because of my hearing aids. He'd be like, what? I can't hear you. Like, he would go around, like, saying, like, to my um, boyfriend at the time. We're not dating, but at the time, he, um, the guy that was making fun of me, my hearing aids, would be like, uh, he wrote a rap, like, to my ex, who was like, what? I'm Jaws and I need to put my hearing aid in the listen to you or something. It was something like that, but him and I are cool now. I'm not cool with my ex, so don't even ask about him. Um, <laughs> um, but for real, um, I just love having hearing aids. I'm not gonna lie. This is like besides the point. Um, it's because I can take him out. And not have to listen to half the people. Yes, I can still hear, but I don't want to listen to your freaking bullshit. Like, I don't got time for that. But anyway, besides the point, I'm in my sophomore year of high school, and I treat people the way they treat me. And, like, if they're an asshole me, I'm an asshole them. And I have, like, been a bully. I won't lie. I've been a bully. I've, 
but like I I knew how to stop myself. Like this person used to bully me, and then last year, and then this year, I was like, oh look at that rat, you're so fucking angry. Like I've had, I won't admit I've said that to them like twice, but then I apologize. Now we're on good terms, but anyway, um, advice for people who are getting bullied. I say, try to ignore it, like, don't react, just pretend like you can't hear them, um, don't say anything to them, because they're just going to make them keep going at you, but if you simply ignore them, they'll finally get tired of hearing themselves saying something to you, or if it's bugging you, like, a lot, get help, like, go report it to someone, but usually people at my school, um, if you report but you're getting made fun of or bullied and the counselor or someone does something, that person that bullies you is just, I, like, in my experience, does it more. But I say you either, like, ask for help, ignore the person. I really, with my experience, I always, like, try to get in help, but, like, it would always get worse and worse and worse. So I just started ignoring them, just like pretend I couldn't hear them. I wouldn't fight back. I would just, I just simply look at them and be like, mm-hmm. or like I would just hear something like I'd hear, and then I would just act like I didn't hear it. Like I'd just walk away. I wouldn't even give them a re reaction. <clears throat> if you're facing bullying right now, and you go to my school and you watch my videos, you can always come up to me. Like, this is another advice. Go to a close friend. They might get you help or they might, like, if you if you tell them don't get you help, that you want their help, they might get you help. It's depending on the situation. You should get yourself help. But if you're too scared, go to a friend at first and explain them the situation. And... Haters are gonna hate, cause I mean, it's freaking society. I mean, I'm not really good. like I always thought I was good with the advice, but my advice is terrible. Oh my god, <laughs> God, I look like a fucking clown right now. All right, I gotta put on makeup so I don't look as red. All right, no, but um, if you're a bully out there, just stop, honestly. Cause what if? that was happening to you would would you like that would you like to get picked on for being different or being ugly or whatever the fuck or fudge whatever my language whatever the heck it is i just think people should treat people the way they want to be treated like with bullies like talk things out like what i've done i've tried talking like i've talked stuff out with people who've bullied me like like, we probably, like, one time I got in a fight last year because this girl, like, kept making fun of me with my hearing aids, and then we just, time just went on, like, that's for the conversation, blah, 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 she said she was gonna beat me up, I was like, okay, blah, 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 next morning we got in a fight, but that's not the answer, like, always try to get help, ask a friend, ask a parent, ask a counselor, ask a teacher, and always, if you, if it's over the phone, save it. No matter what. Or if you have a camera and they're right there, try to record it or get a recorder. Do whatever you can to prove it. That's the number one thing. If I didn't have proof most of the time, school wouldn't do nothing. Because one time I didn't have proof, and I'd be like, oh, how do we know this is actually happening? Get proof. Get help. Ask a friend. Ignore. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Ignore whatever the heck they all have to say. Because you know what? They're irrelevant. Like the freaking negativity in my life. Okay? Now, if you guys have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comments. But if you don't, forget y'all. But, nah, for real. If you guys uh, uh, want to hit the like button or like subscribe or actually comment. But you do whatever the heck you want because that's what my dad's telling me. But if you don't, forget y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.